Christy, welcome to my channel. I've got a small farmer's market haul for you. We went this morning. We love to go to the farmer's market. We've actually just started going recently to the one that's around here. When we lived in Alaska, we used to go all the time, but I am so glad we started hitting this one up because they really have some good stuff right now. And I wanted to show you what I got and then also show you a little bit about how I prepare some of the things that we like to get at the farmer's market. This is my first farmer's market haul or grocery haul. I haven't done any of that yet. And if you like those types of videos and would like me to make more of them, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and that lets me know that you wanna see more of these in the future. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you'll always be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we picked up is two packs of Italian sausage. We like the spicy kind, so we got two packs of the spicy. And we actually like eating these just plain with some vegetables on the side sometimes. Of course, we like to make it with pasta sauce. And so we have a lot of different ways that we actually will eat these. And I like eating Italian sausage for breakfast sometimes with my eggs. I'll have eggs and Italian sausage, and it's really good. So I really like buying it from places like this at the farmer's market because when I look at the ingredients in here, which I have to take my glasses off to read, the ingredients are pork, beef, water, fennel seed, salt, sugar, spices, dehydrated garlic. The only ingredient in here that I don't like is the sugar. I really wish that there was no sugar in here, but besides that, I like the fact that there are no preservatives or additives in this. I can pronounce all of these ingredients, so I don't need to worry about really what's in here. Like I said, other than the sugar's not my favorite, but anyway, I still think these are good quality. So we got two packs of these. There's a booth at our farmer's market that sells pasture-raised chickens and turkeys. And that's one thing you wanna look for with chickens and turkeys and pork is pasture-raised. And so we got a whole chicken and we will bake this chicken tomorrow. It's frozen, so we're gonna have to defrost it, but we will bake this. We'll have it with some vegetables and this is gonna be delicious. When we're done baking this, I also like to save the bones and when I get enough bones collected, from different chickens that we've had, then I will end up making a bone broth, which I'm gonna to talk to you more about that in just a minute. Another thing I picked up is some ground turkey. So I'm gonna use this with some of my lunches that I'm gonna be making. So I will maybe make a video on some of the healthy lunches I like to eat. Um, so this is some ground turkey. Again, it's pasture raised, which is what you wanna look for if at all possible. And I like to buy it whenever I can because that means that the animals are roaming free. They are able to eat the foods that they would typically eat. That's important to know because when we are eating meat, we're not only eating that meat, but we're eating whatever that animal ate. So it's important to know that they are eating the right things, that this is gonna be the most nutritious that it can possibly be for our bodies. All right, so I told you I'd talk to you a little bit more about bone broth. That's another thing that I bought from the same vendor who had the chickens and the turkey meat. This is a 30 ounce container of bone broth, and I really like the price on this. It was $10, which I know sounds very pricey. I typically buy the Kettle and Fire brand at the grocery store, and for a 16.2 ounce little carton of the Kettle and Fire from the grocery store, this is um, usually a little over $5, it's five or $6, I think. So this was actually a better deal. Ideally, I like to make my own and then that way it's a lot cheaper because you pay a fortune for these if you buy them at the farmer's market or the grocery store but the quality of ingredients in this is fantastic. Bone broth is actually a superfood. If you don't know about bone broth, this is one of the healthiest things you can actually eat. We use it in all types of things that we cook. If we make any types of soups or stews or anything like that, we use bone broth. You can also just drink this plain as like a soup. It's very healthy for you. I went ahead and bought one container of this, but pretty soon I'm gonna make some of my own. If you're interested in seeing a video on how I make my bone broth, 
then let me know and I can make a whole video about the benefits of it and how I actually make mine. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, the next thing I bought, I'm so excited about because they're actually kind of hard to come by around here. When we were in Alaska, I discovered golden beets. The farmer's market in Alaska is amazing. And I hope that I'm gonna be able to get up there this summer at some point. And if I do, I am gonna make a point to go to the farmer's market and show you because you will actually not believe the farmer's market in Alaska is so good. But anyway, I discovered golden beets there and these are amazing. So I was so excited when I saw the booth at the farmer's market had these golden beets. When you roast the beets, they are so delicious. And I like the golden beets because they have a little bit of a milder flavor than the red beets, although I love red beets as well. When beets are in season at the farmer's market, I like to stock up as much as I can. I'll buy a couple of bunches every week. I like to roast them and then I vacuum seal them and put them in the freezer so that we'll have them throughout the summer as well. If you go to the farmer's market and you find beets like this that have the stems and the leaves on them, make sure you don't throw those away. The stems actually are very much like celery, so they have the same type of texture as celery. You can eat them raw. They have a mild beady flavor. I think they're delicious. I like to eat them just plain raw as a snack. I love crunchy things. I don't know about y'all, but I really like crunchy foods for some reason. And sometimes I just wanna munch on something. So these are really good for just munching and snacking on. And then they're also great with something like guacamole. I like to just dip them in the guacamole and eat them like that, so good. So I will cut these up. If you prefer not to eat them raw, then they are also really good in soups and stews. You can also cut these and put them in your smoothies. So like I said, don't waste this. That's good stuff, great nutrition in there. The greens are also really tasty and they're good for you. I like to take the greens and saute them with a little bit of oil at the bottom of the pot and I just keep adding the greens to it with just some salt and pepper. I like them fairly plain and then I will also sometimes to speed up the cooking process a little bit, actually smother them and I'll add some water and cover them and let them cook down. There's so many things you can do with the greens as well and I like to cook them up and have extra and freeze those in little packs. What you can do is add these to your smoothies. You can eat it just as a side dish with um, whatever meal you're eating. They're very similar to like mustard greens or collard greens or something like that. Very tasty, delicious. Give these a try if you haven't already tried them. Okay, so another thing we like to buy at the farmer's market this time of year is lettuce. We ended up getting two of the romaine lettuces. They look really good. After we go to the farmer's market, I like to come home and I wash all of my vegetables that we bought, cut it all up, put it in baggies, get it ready to go in the refrigerator. So when we wanna use it throughout the week, it's just ready to go. All right, we got the two romaine lettuces, but guys, look at this one. This is a huge green leaf lettuce. We love green leaf lettuce. So I cannot wait to cut this one up. This is gonna make so much lettuce. We'll have it all week long and it's gonna be delicious. The next vegetable we got is some broccoli. I just wanted to have a little bit of broccoli. I think we're gonna have steaks for dinner tonight. So we'll cook up this broccoli to go with it and it will be so yummy. As far as produce, the last thing we picked up are these microgreens. So I got some radish, which these have a kind of a little bit of a spice to them. So they're really good. And then I got some pea spray. I think these are pretty neutral tasting and then we got this mix and she told me everything that was in here but honestly I don't remember but it's just a different mix of sprouts and I love these sprouts because I can add them to smoothies I also like to add them to my salads whenever I have a salad and then if you're eating any kind of sandwich or wrap or anything like that these are great additions to those as well the last food item I picked up are these protein bars so when we were there a couple of weeks ago I found this lady who 
makes these protein bars and she also makes the fruit bars. Last time I got a box that was mixed with the fruit bars and the protein bars. These all contain real food ingredients. These have a little more sugar and a little less protein in them because of all the fruit. And while I like these and these are good for a snack every now and then, we're trying to stay more low carb and low sugar right now. Even though the sugar is coming from fruit, it's still not necessarily the best for you. So I only eat these occasionally and they're really good but I really like these protein bars they're 16 grams of protein so if I just need something really quick after a workout this is good they also make a nice snack or something to just carry around in your car I went ahead and picked up a whole box of these so that I would have them she only had one of the peanut butter chocolate I bought some of these last time and we did like them but they are all gone now so I went ahead and picked up the one and then the rest of these I got the walnut brownie and they are really good and like I said it's all real food ingredients these are made with dates brown rice protein pea protein cassava root fiber walnuts raw cacao powder raw cacao butter and almond butter in general protein bars are not the best thing for you but because these are made with all real food ingredients I don't mind having these every now and then and they are actually very tasty and she does ship so i will leave the link for these in the description box below if you're interested i don't know if y'all can hear him but ace is walking over here and he's just clickety clacking on the floor but i need to get this filmed so i'm gonna keep going i hope it's not bothering you too much the last thing i bought at the farmer's market today was this liquid hand soap and some face wash so i always like to buy soaps and things like this, face washes, things like that at the farmer's market because I can see the ingredients and I know that they are using all natural ingredients. There's nothing artificial in these products. So I really like that. When it comes to soaps and shampoos and things like that, I am actually allergic to one of the main ingredients in most commercial soaps. So even if they didn't have all the other bad ingredients in them, I would still need to buy these types of soaps because of that. The ingredients in here are saffinated almond oil, castor oil, corn oil, olive oil, rapeseed and rice bran oils, eucalyptus, horsetail and neem herbs, citric acid, that's gonna be your preservative in here, and eucalyptus and mandarin essential oils. One ingredient in here that did give me a little bit of pause was the corn oil because I was worried it might be GMO, which means it's genetically modified, but she says she gets hers from uh, Canada and they are not genetically modified, so I was excited about that. So I'm anxious to try this. She told me that this should actually last me for a very long time because you only need to use a little bit of it. What she told me to do was start with with my hands dry take just a little bit of the soap and then rub it into my hands really well for a few seconds and then stick my hands under the water lather it up really good and then rinse it off so I'm excited to try this and I will let y'all know. I did not ask her if she ships, but I know she does have a website. So I'll put a link to her website down in the description box below in case you're interested. I typically do oil cleansing for my face. If you're not familiar with what that is, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in me doing a video about that for you. The thing about oil cleansing is it can take a few minutes to do and sometimes I'm really tired and just in a hurry and so having a good face Face wash is nice to have around every now and then even though I won't use this all of the time. The ingredients in this one are saffinated almond oil, castor oil, olive oil, rapeseed oil, and sunflower oil. She has an herbal blend. It says clearly, cheerly, green formula, essential oils, blend clearly, cheerly, green formula, citric acid. I'm not quite sure what all of those are at the end, but I think it's all natural, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. She said this is supposed to be pretty good if you have acne. I have rosacea that is pretty bad, so I'm gonna give this a try and see if it helps with that any. And again, I'll put the link for her website down below if you're interested. She had quite a few products that I did not buy, but a few that I might buy in the future. She had some bath bombs. I feel pretty confident that all the ingredients she's using are high quality, natural ingredients. So I'm gonna give some of her other products a try. I just wanted to try these two things first and then 
in the future, I will probably buy some of her other things like the bath bombs and some things like that. All right, guys, I wanna know if you enjoy going to the farmer's market as much as I do. If you do, type me too down in the comments below. If you like this video and wanna see more videos like this in the future, maybe some more farmer's market hauls, or like I said, a visit to the farmer's market, make sure you give this a thumbs up. That will let me know that you're interested in these types of videos. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join our community. We'd love to have you. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time. Bye.